Hi ladies! Today on Fertility Mom we're going to talk about some of the best tips to improve sperm quality. Welcome back to Fertility Mom. If you want science-based tips, tricks, and secrets to help increase your fertility and get pregnant naturally and faster, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you know when I give you new stuff every week. Today we're going to talk about some of the best tips to improve sperm quality. I've done a couple of videos on sperm quality, count, all that kind of stuff before, so definitely check those videos out. I'll link to them up here. Uh, and these are just a few, so if you want more, if you want another video about how to improve your sperm quality, hit me down below in the comments and I'll do another video. Number one is eat a clean diet full of whole unprocessed foods. Don't eat the processed stuff. That means anything that went through a machine or any kind of super process, processing environment, processing, I don't know, whatever. If it's processed, don't eat it. If it's in a box that has a thousand ingredients in it, if, you, if it didn't come from the ground or an animal, then it's processed. You can also do what we call periphery grocery shopping, which means you only grocery shop in the produce section, the dairy section, the meat section, all the stuff on the periphery or the outside of the grocery store, and you don't hit those inside aisles that have all the, the processed junk, like the breads and the cakes and the cookies and the crackers and all that stuff is no good. Full of chemicals, full of additives, full of things that decrease your sperm quality and count, and that's not what we want. So you want to eat lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, and all that kind of good stuff. Number two is going to be take your supplements. Now your supplements are going to be a little bit different than the ones your partner may be taking, but not terribly different. You're going to want to make sure you're taking zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, a probiotic. A probiotic is extremely important. They're finding in studies that a probiotic is so massively important in sperm health that it's being talked about at fertility conferences like around the world. So take a probiotic. You're going to want to take a multivitamin and you can take CoQ10 and a bunch of other things, but definitely at very minimum, look into taking the ones that I have just mentioned. Number three, gentlemen, you're going to want to check all of your daily products that you use. If you use a face wash, a face lotion, your shampoo, your toothpaste, anything you put on your body or in your body, you're going to want to check the label. If you're putting something on or in you that has a lot of chemicals in it, you're going to want to find a more natural option. One of the most important ones is actually going to be your deodorant. If your deodorant has aluminum in it, it is very important that you find a natural option. Now I will put a link for a natural deodorant that, I mean, and I've tried uh, I probably at least 12 different kinds of natural deodorant and I've tortured my husband with that as well and we've found uh, a couple that we really like. So I'll put a link down below for an aluminum free natural deodorant that my husband swears by. And aluminum is not good for you because it's a heavy metal and if you look back at one of my other videos I do talk about heavy metal exposure. Remember it doesn't have to be heavy metal toxicity. If you're in toxicity then it's really bad. But heavy metal exposure decreases count and decreases quality and aluminum is one of the biggest offenders and it's in everything. It's in a lot of stuff including your deodorant. So check out your deodorant and nix it if it's got aluminum. Number four is you're going to want to cut out caffeine and alcohol. Now caffeine actually makes sperm like they swim around all wonky and I'm not making this up. They actually have looked at sperm under microscopes that have been affected by caffeine and they don't swim. Their motility is affected by caffeine. So if you're drinking a lot of caffeine, you're going to try and taper that down or completely cut it out. If you're drinking like Monsters and Red Bull and all that stuff, no bueno, not only does it have caffeine, but it has lots of other chemicals and additives as well. So absolutely take a look at what you're drinking replace it with water, seltzer, tea, that kind of stuff. Number five is going to be avoid soy protein and soy compounds. And that's because when you ingest soy or you eat it, it actually turns into an estrogen-like compound in the body. And I've talked about this with women and it's true also for men. So in your body, soy does act like estrogen. It attaches to the same receptors that estrogen also attaches to. So we know that estrogen is the predominant 
sex hormone in women, and men do also have some estrogen, but we don't want them to have too much estrogen because that can cause a whole host of problems like gynecomastia, and it actually does decrease sperm production as well. Um, so if you're having a lot of soy protein, that's probably not the best option. You're gonna decrease it or eliminate it altogether if you can. So that was some tips to help improve your sperm quality. I hope that was helpful for you. If you want me to do another video similar to this one or you have specific questions that you want me to address, hit me down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like button so I know you wanna see more stuff like this. And I shall see you on the next video. Bye.